Hey Engine Enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel, where we break down the coolest technologies shaping the future of engines. Today, I've got something exciting for you. A technology that has the potential to change how we think about internal combustion. I'm talking about Homogeneous Charge Compression Ignition, or HCCI. It's a mouthful, but trust me, this tech is worth your attention. Curious about how HCCI could give us the best of both gasoline and diesel engines while being cleaner and more efficient? Let's dive in. So, let's break it down. You've heard of gasoline engines where a spark plug ignites the air-fuel mixture and diesel engines where fuel ignites purely from high compression, right? Well, HCCI does something super cool. It takes a premixed fuel-air charge, like a gasoline engine, but instead of using a spark plug, it compresses the mixture until it automatically ignites, just like in a diesel engine. No spark, no fuss, just pure compression ignition. Okay, here's where it gets really interesting. In HCCI, the air and fuel are mixed homogeneously meaning it's an even blend throughout the cylinder. As the piston moves up, it compresses the mixture, and once the pressure and temperature are high enough, it ignites across the whole cylinder at once, unlike in a gasoline engine where the flame spreads out from the spark plug. This simultaneous combustion leads to a super clean, efficient burn. Now, why should we care about HCCI? Well, for starters, it's all about efficiency. Since there's no throttle loss, which is common in regular gasoline engines, HCCI can operate with much higher thermal efficiency. In fact, it can match or even exceed the efficiency of some diesel engines, which is a big deal when it comes to fuel economy. But here's the real kicker, emission. Traditional engines produce harmful nitrogen oxides, NOx, because of the high combustion temperatures. HCCI, on the other hand, operates at lower temperatures, meaning significantly less NOx is formed. Plus, the complete combustion of the air-fuel mixture also results in fewer unburned hydrocarbons. Cleaner, more efficient, and still delivering power. Sounds pretty awesome. Now, you're probably wondering, if HCCI is so great, why don't all cars use it? Well, there's a catch. One of the biggest challenges is control. In a traditional gasoline engine, the spark plug decides exactly when combustion starts. But with HCCI, combustion depends on the temperature and pressure in the cylinder. And as you might imagine, Controlling that precisely across different speeds and loads is tricky. For example, when you're cruising on the highway, HCCI works like a dream, smooth, efficient, and clean. But when you accelerate quickly or start the engine cold, controlling the ignition timing becomes a lot harder. That's why automakers have been exploring hybrid systems that combine HCCI with traditional spark ignition, like Mazda's Skyactiv-X engine. So, where are we headed with HCCI? Several car companies and research institutions are pouring resources into perfecting this technology. Mazda SkyActiv-X is a great example, using what they call Spark Controlled Compression Ignition, SBCCI, where they blend HCCI with spark ignition to ensure smooth operation under different conditions. This hybrid approach is a promising step toward making HCCI engines more practical for everyday cars. Researchers are also looking into ways to expand the operating range of HCCI, using advanced computer controls, new materials, and alternative fuels to make the technology more adaptable and reliable in real-world driving situations. HCCI engines come in several advanced types, each offering different strategies for controlling combustion. LRF HCCI, Low Reactivity Fuel HCCI, operates using a single low-reactivity fuel, like gasoline or natural gas, where the homogeneous air-fuel mixture is compressed until it ignites via compression. HRF HCCI, High Reactivity Fuel HCCI, on the other hand, uses a high reactivity fuel like diesel and manages combustion by delaying ignition until the compression is sufficient. TSCI, Thermally Stratified Compression Ignition, uses water injection to create a thermal gradient in the cylinder, which helps control the timing and location of the ignition. In LISI, Laser Induced Compression Ignition, a laser is used to ignite the air-fuel mixture with precision offering greater control over the combustion process. Lastly, SISI, spark-induced compression ignition, combines HCCI with spark ignition, using a spark to trigger the ignition in specific conditions. Another reason to be excited about HCCI is its potential to help us tackle climate change and pollution. Since HCCI operates more efficiently and produces fewer pollutants, it could play a major role in reducing the environmental impact of cars. Imagine a world where internal combustion engines produce as little pollution as electric cars, but still offer the range and performance of gasoline or diesel vehicle. That's what makes HCCI such a compelling idea. So, there you have it. HCCI, a 
revolutionary engine technology that combines the best of both gasoline and diesel while offering cleaner emissions and higher efficiency. It's still in development, but the progress being made is super exciting. Could HCCI be the future of combustion engines? Only time will tell, but it's definitely one to watch. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.